Hey guys, it is Arika Misha in the kitchen doing what I do. And today I just want to come and show you guys a little quick, little cute video. Today I will be doing, you know, kind of like a homemade um, Chick fil A, KFC, you know, kind of style um, chicken sandwich. That's basically what I'm doing. I've got some boneless, skinless chicken here. I'm gonna make like, you know, a chicken sandwich and some fries. Um, I've got some sweet baby rays. I've got the garlic parmesan. We've got the buffalo wing sauce. We've got the honey mustard. Yes. And of course, we've got the McCain quick cook fries in the back. These are, have become my new favorite fries. The McCain's are pretty good. Tastes like a nice, you know, good fresh potato. Um, and you know, they don't really give you that whole frozen taste. But anyway, um, let me show you guys the boneless skinless chicken breast. And I will definitely leave, I will try to remember to leave linked below um, the link to my meal prep uh, video for this. For the chicken, how I got the chicken all seasoned up and stuff. That chicken looks delicious. I know. But yeah, basically what I did, um, I just cut the boneless skinless chicken, butterfly it and just cut it in half. So make sure you guys watch that video if you want to see how, you know, I meal prepped everything. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing uh, homemade chicken sandwiches. Uh, you know, kind of like that whole uh, Chick-fil-A style, you know, but better than Chick-fil-A. I don't know about that. We know, we all know Chick-fil-A is delicious. But anyway, y'all. Yep, that's what we're doing today. Some homemade chicken sandwiches and french fries. Something quick and easy for the kids, for the family. All right, guys. Let go. Okay guys, we're getting ready to get our chicken fried. I just wanted to come and show you guys what's going to be going on on this side of the room. Alright, I've got my flour down. I've got some egg wash. I am going to do the uh, egg wash today with the boneless skinless chicken because I do want them to have that little extra, extra crispiness on the outside. I am going to use the Morton Season All. You know, that's pretty much all seasons. I'm going to use that to go on my flour. Just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. Don't want to do too much because I already have my chicken nicely seasoned. And I am going to be using the Trader Joe's Green Goddess Seasoning Blend. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I am addicted to this. This is really good. Really good. It's got a lot of greens in it. Spinach. Just a lot of green stuff in it. Because, you know, we don't really do too much, eat too much green foods. But we do take our vitamins and all that stuff, y'all. So, but anyway, um, this is really good. Really good. And I'm going to be putting this in the egg wash. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in my egg wash. Because once you dunk the meat and the flour and the eggs, you know, it just kind of pulls some of the season away from your meat. So this way, you know, you still get, your food still gets seasoned. We're going to mix that up. Get that nicely mixed up. Our eggs are already mixed up over there. So I'm going to mix that season in my eggs too. Just, you know, kind of shift your flour around. Make sure it's all nicely mixed in with your flour. Alright. Alright, we got that all mixed in. Good enough. We just want to do a light coat. I'm not going to be doing, you know, I'm not going to do a heavy coat on the uh, flour and the egg wash. So, you guys will see. Let me get my eggs mixed up over here with the season. Make sure we got that nicely blended up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Nicely blended up. Let me wash my fork off real quick. Got my oil over here getting hot. So, all right. Let me see. Get that first piece of chicken. It's been marinating. I'm gonna put it in my flour. You know, just a little light coat. I don't wanna do too much. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to make it too floury, you know. Dip it in my egg wash. I just normally just do it like this. Flip it over on the other side. I don't want to do too much. Drain that egg off. And then I take it back in my flour. Don't want to do too much. I know it may look like I'm doing a lot, but you don't want to do too much. Okay. 
all right <clears throat> and I always shake all the extra off because you don't want that floating around in your oil so you don't need that floating around in your oil <clears throat> and of course it gets a little messy but I shake the extra off um, and let's go ahead and get this drop my hands are sticky all right, hold on, I'm going to sit that over there. I'm going to do one more. Got my flower. Flip, flip. Just a little quick flip. Back over in our flower. Make sure everything is coated properly. Kind of pat it on a little bit. Do my little shake shake. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands washed off real quick, guys. So we can go ahead and drop this in the oil because I believe that oil is ready. I think I'm gonna use it spatula so my hands don't get so dirty. Yeah, because my hands are getting real dirty this way. All right, yep. <clears throat> yep, our oil is ready. Let me go ahead and turn you guys around to our oil over here, ready. Okay, get y'all nicely positioned in the business. Yep, hold on, let me scoot y'all back and then I will zoom y'all in. Hold on. Flour. Drop it in our oil. Shake that extra flour off. Drop it in my oil. All right. Y'all see how I'm doing it. I'm going to go ahead and let that cook up. I'm going to let that get all nicely fried. Y'all know it's that easy. It's that simple. Dropping in your oil. And I will be back to let y'all see how that turned out. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to pull the next set of chicken out. I had pulled that first set out and I said, wait, you not recording. So um, I wanted to make sure I was recording, pulling this next set out. They are turning out beautiful. See if I can give y'all a close up on that chicken. Oh yeah, so good. Oh, better than Chick-fil-A. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Nothing like a homemade chicken sandwich. Look at that goodness. I'm gonna bring it in for y'all. Oh, that's nothing but goodness right there. Nothing but goodness. Y'all see it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I tasted it. As you can see, that one's a little cut off over there. I tasted it. It tastes delicious. Get another one in there. Get one of them bigger ones in there. And I'm taking my time frying them. I'm not rushing it. Taking my time. I don't have my heat real high. I don't like frying my food real fast because it's like the outside gets real brown, but the inside's not done. So I like uh, frying my food at a nice medium high heat. You know, you want that heat still high enough that you know you'll be frying it, not taking all day. But you don't want it so high where you're over overcooking the outside and the inside's not even done. So I usually have mine. My stove goes through like a one through eight kind of thing, medium low, medium high kind of thing. So I have mine at a six. You know what I mean? That's like a medium high heat. And I just let them take their time and cook up. All right, y'all. So next thing y'all be seeing is the grand finale. Well, you know what? No, I'm gonna come back. Show me cooking the fries. All right, guys. 
Okay guys, we are back for the grand finale. Uh, got my fries. This is the second and last batch. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this second batch out. I usually put a little, um, give y'all a close up on those fries. I usually do put a little uh, salt and pepper on the fries, you know, so they can kind of have that seasoned fry taste. Um, sometimes I just do pepper, or sometimes I just do salt. Y'all know how it is when you're cooking. You be switching stuff up. But um, today I did the salt and pepper, just a little salt, a little pepper. Kind of gives you that seasoned fry taste. All right, get the rest of these fries out of here. That oil is hot, okay? And sometimes I put a little uh, Morton seasoned salt on my fries too. It gives them, you know, like that little whole, sprinkle some on there. Gotta sprinkle it while they hot. Okay, timer. Gotta sprinkle it on there while they nice and hot and fresh out the oil. Show y'all those. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. And I just kind of shake them up. And that's it for the fries. And let me take you guys over to the chicken. All done and nicely fried up. Take y'all in. The chicken is looking delicious. You know, so now all everybody got to do is get their chicken. Oh, I got to show y'all the brioche buns. I am using the Kraft Nature Zone Perfectly Kraft Brioche Style Bread. You know, like their buns, nice and soft. They are perfect for the chicken sandwiches. And everybody got their sauce. They can put their chicken um, on their bread and just put whatever sauce they want to put on there. So, um, all right, guys, y'all seen me do it. So, you know, I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. Don't forget to go in the description box. Click on that link in the description box. That is a link to my second channel. Go over there. Show me some love and support, guys. All right. Bye.